Paul Manafort, you're saying, bears some responsibility for this. Well, I think, that, I think someone at the staff level does, and I think Paul's at the top of that, and he should find out who is ultimately responsible for putting that information in and allowing that to go forward and hold that person accountable. Corey, your, your, the Trump campaign is not known for apologizing. You yourself, not known for saying, I'm sorry, or apologizing. Do you think that's those words we're going to hear come out of anyone's mouth I, in the I, cleanup process? I don't think so. But you don't need to apologize. You need accountability, right? That's what a good leader does, holds people accountable. I've been held accountable in this campaign. Other people should be held accountable in the campaign. You don't need to apologize, but you need to fix it so it doesn't happen again. Who's to say? that this st same staff person isn't involved tonight and doesn't make the same mistake again. Corey, who are you talking about needs to do this? Are you talking about Donald Trump needs to do this, or are you saying Paul Manafort needs to do this as the I, campaign trainer? I, think, I think Paul needs to take a, a deep look inside and understand what the process was, make sure the protocols are in place, make sure that there is a check and balance of every speech that's going to go forward, and whoever signed off was the final sign-off that allowed this to go forward should be held accountable. And if it was Paul Manafort, he should be held accountable? Well, I think if it was Paul Manafort, he'd do the right thing and resign. You think Paul Manafort would resign if the... If the if this comes to he being the last if person that saw this? If the last person saw this and saw this happen and has brought this on the candidate's wife, I think he would resign because I think it's the type of person he would be. You 